everyone. Uh, I'm getting ready to work on my Etsy store, and I thought I'd spend a few minutes while um, I'm working on it. I'm adding some patterns. Uh, here's my bag. Is this the bag? Yeah. I did pictures on these patterns, and I've already done the, um, the cropping and everything. So I've got a, these patterns right here, which is one probably about 10 or 15 patterns in here. I have some patterns over here on my printer that I think I can get listed. And um, I got some listed yesterday. So right now, I'm with the sewing room thing, I'm focusing on my Etsy things that I need to get done. That would be the one of the big things out of the way because I have a lot of patterns in here. And then I have another box over here for the thrift store. So as I go through patterns, if they're not um, factory folded, if they've been cut on or whatever, then they go in the box. I've got my, uh, yep, got my, doing my uh, listing tab now so I can start adding some patterns. Now, um, if you want, I can show you how I did it. I mean, how I do these listings, just in case some of you may be thinking that you want to open up an Etsy store, I can show you how to do a listing. I mean, it's really, really easy. There's nothing to it. And uh, I pay 20 cents per listing, and they last for four months. All right, so it's up. I'm going to turn my camera toward my computer. All right. Bring it down some. Let me push all this stuff over this way. I've got some more stuff here that I need to work with. Let me bring you closer as soon as I get this stuff out of the way. Sorry for the shaking. I'm trying to... You're on a tripod, and I'm trying to get the camera moved. So you can see real good how I do this. All right, there I think that'll do. All right, so the first thing you do is you go to add a listing. Well, first thing you do is over here, you see the word listing, dashboard, search, messages. Right here is your orders. So when you get an order, it pops up right there. Uh, down here is where you put your settings. This is where you pay your bill, you know, in this area here. And uh, this is what your dashboard will look at. Let me show that to you real quick. Your dashboard shows you what you have done in sales. You can do it like by week, month, however you want to do it. It also shows you your total views that you've had within 20, the last 24 hours. How many visits you've had. How many orders uh, that you have. Which mine are already done. It shows three, but mine are done. I did those yesterday. And uh, my revenue, which all these orders came from my clearance section. I have a clearance section with sewing patterns that are $2 and $5. But when I first list them, I put them at my regular price that I would normally do. And then after maybe one or two um, billing cycles, I might decide to go ahead and put them in the clearance. So anyhow, so that's what that looks like. And then... Um, you can also do videos of your product. I haven't done that yet because I haven't uh, done my other uh, store yet with my products in it. So I'm going to check this out for my other shop, which is called Paradise Creations. This is called Vintage Sewing Shop, S-H-O-P-P-E. All right, and then um, this has a checklist. Uh, we found five prices for you to review, so I guess I need to read that. And then it uh, says take a minute to update your processing time. So I need to read that. And then this shows what your listings and your orders are. And then here's the reviews I have down here. Um, it, this person right here, she ordered a christening gown that I shipped out last week. And I didn't know this was put in here. But yesterday she put in fast shipping, received ahead of time. She's satisfied this person here two days ago, I didn't know she did a review on me either, but she gave me a five-star review. I have all five-star reviews. That's because I try to be honest with my customers. 
when they send me a message, I, re I reply back to them within 24 hours. I don't mess around with my customers because they're, they're helping me keep my store going. And they're the ones that um, helping me get my sales. So I don't mess around when it comes to my customers. And keep a check on my time because it says I have 13.22 minutes on my, um, my um, storage. I guess I should have cleaned out my storage before I did this video. All right, so here's all of my listings right here. Every one that I have. I have five pages of listings. And then over here, you can, you know, look at your listings like you can do it with your expiration latest first. A to Z, Z to A, low to high, so forth. And uh, then right here is where all of my categories are. So the ones uh, that are not highlighted, I don't have anything in there. In my clearance patterns, I have 29 patterns for $5. My $2 one, I have 99 sewing patterns. That's where most of my sales are coming from is the $2 and the $5. Every now and then, I might get something from... Um, a regular a regular um, price pattern that's not on clearance and I also have clearance books five dollars uh, like sewing books and whatever I have a crochet product in here I'm not sure what that is let me see what that is that's not a crochet product all right I've got to get I've got to get that out of there that's not a crocheted product all right click on that delete it I'm gonna get rid of that category anyhow because I won't be doing crochet products anymore all right so um, then if you want to see everything you have you just go to geez come on now you just all right it's in the two dollar category now if you want to see everything you have you just go to all and it'll show everything like my books and my patterns and my whatever I may be whatever I may have on here. Sometimes I can find some um, notions that I can put on here too. Um, and I've got some sewing machine attachments and that kind of thing too. All right, so now we're going to list a pattern. So we're going to go up here and click add listing. Now, I forgot to do this. I always go down here to where my folder is. And I always try to keep it pulled up because sometimes I may not be able to find a certain picture, but I know it's in there. And I keep everything in Google Drive. Everything is in Google Drive. See there? Because this Google Drive takes me straight to my photo editing. See all those pictures? Now some of these I haven't edited yet because um, I didn't have the patterns with me. So um, tomorrow or maybe tonight I might try to do some of that. I'm not sure. But I usually just keep this down into the um, task bar. So now I click on add a photo. You can add up to, um, I think it's 10 photos. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, 10 photos. All right, so the first one I'm going to do, I'm going to do this quick sew. Can you see it? I'm going to do the quick sew first. So, what I, and I also have in my folders, I also put in what it is, the name of the pattern company, the pattern number. It was the back, front. I also show pictures for what's inside. So people know before they get it what their pattern is going to look like and the instructions and all. And I take, um, so I take three pictures. That way they can see all angles of the envelope see where the tears are because I do mention tears or if it's got a stain on it or whatever that's another thing of me being honest so let's go and then right here where it says file name you can put in um, the beginning um, letters of whatever you're looking for like I put in KW that brought up my quick sew so I'm doing 3084 and I only have the back and the front there how come I don't have the inside but for right now, I'm going to do this one, and then I can do an inside picture of it, and uh, then I can put the picture in later. Because that's always, um, the inside of the pattern pictures that I take is always um, in the middle. You know what? Let me find one where I know 
I can do an, one with the inside and with all three pictures. Let me see. All right, five, three, one. All right, here we go. Here's all three. I got back, front, and side. So the first one I put up is the front because that's the one that's going to be shown when people are looking for the pattern. And I need to fix it. All right, so the way that I go in here to fix it is sometimes I can do it this way by cropping. Let's see if this will work. Because when that pops up, that means you need to get your pattern to a smaller, I guess they call it fit pixel or whatever. So let's see if that takes care of it. If not, I'm going to have to find another pattern. Nope, it didn't take care of it. So let me find myself another pattern because this one I need to go in and I need to fix it uh, by going into my editing um, app. All right, so let's click on this. Nope, I meant to delete it. All right, delete that. Now, I'm going to try this simplicity pattern right here. So I'm going to put an SI, and there we go. The number is 8448. I've got the, I've got the inside, the back, and the front. How come I've got... Oh, that's the other pattern. Okay, so I've got the inside, I've got the back, and I have the front. So the front is the first one I'm going to put in. Let's hope this one works. Nope. Well, what in the world? All right, I've got a feeling I'm going to have to go in here and redo all my pictures. Oh, man, I hope not. All right, let me try this Butterick right here. Oh, no, I meant to click. I always forget to click the delete button. There we go. Now, let me try this Butterick. All right, B-U, and I want 6295. There's the back. There's the front. Let's do that and see what happens. Now, I'm going to have to go in here and redo my pictures. Yep, I'm going to have to redo all of my pictures. Listing looks best with photos at least 2,000 pixels wide. All right, so let me go in here, find this pattern, and let's see, 6295. Where is the inside front? Here's the front. All right, so now I need to go into my properties. See what the pixel is. Um, okay, I'm back. My uh, storage got full, so I have 11 minutes on here. So, anyhow, I figured out how, uh, what the problem was. I needed to change my pixels. Now, I don't know if you heard me before my phone, just my uh, tablet decided to shut off, but. Um, they require you to have uh, 2,000 on your pixels. So, when that problem pops up like you just saw, I go into my folder. That's why I always keep my folder pulled up. Okay, I've already fixed the inside and the front. So now I'm going to go fix the back. And I'm going to show you how I do it. Now see right here, it tells you dimensions. 875 by 2, 515. It's supposed to be 2,000 where the 875 is. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to edit. This pops up. This is uh, the paint, um, the paint app that's on my computer, and um, I only use this to size and sometimes to color it, which that looks like it's a little too light. Maybe I need to darken it up a little bit. Let's see, where's that at? Oh, come on, mouse! What are you doing? All right. Um, I need to darken it up. So how do I do it? I might have to go to my other app to do that. Let's see. Color. Nope. Yeah, I'm going to have to edit colors. No. Yeah, maybe. Let's see. No. I'm going to have to go to my other app to do that. But for right now, I'm going to resize. Over here, it says pixels. And then I put in 2,000. Okay, you just need the 2,000 for the top bar. And then you see how it brought it up a lot bigger? So then I click my uh, save um, my save icon over here so I can save it. And then I click out of it. Then I bring this back down to the task bar. And then I go in add my second photo. 
You see right here on the first photo, let me bring this down. See, it didn't have that warning uh, icon anymore because I was able to fix it to the right pixels. So 6295, um, I want the inside, so we're going to pick that one. Okay, now I'm going to do the back side. Where's my back? There it is. Normally, I wouldn't be sitting here watching the thing go around in circles, but because I'm trying to show you if you're thinking about opening. Right here is where you do the video thing, which I'm going to read up on once I get this shop all straightened out and then I can work on my new shop. Okay, right here is where you put all your details at. So for the first thing I do is, where's my pattern at? Here it is. So the first thing I do is I put in, let me get this out of my way. Let's see, I'll put it over here to the side. I put in Butterick 6295. Um, and then I put Lisette. I put anything, see Lisette right there? I put in anything I can from the front of this envelope on my listing um, title. Okay, and then I put in, um, no, I put in ladies. I do women or woman if it's a plus size, but if it's not, I just do ladies. And then I put the size in. So it's a 14 through 22 in, in the envelope. So I do 14 through 22. And, oh, I forgot to put in act, active wear. All right active wear and I always double check what I put what I type in this line right here because that's the first thing that they're going to see okay now who made it so because I didn't make it or if I had an employee and my employee didn't make it I go to another company or person because it is another company it's a Butterick okay now they're going to ask you is it a finished product or a supply or tool to make things? And I click on a supply or tool to make things. Then over here they want to know when was it made, what year. So I look on the back of my envelope here. Sometimes it'll tell you on the back, like right here. I'll try to get it up close. It tells you 2015 right there. Sometimes it may be on the envelope flap. So then I put in 2015 so right here it says 2010 through 2019 I click on that all right now right here is asking you what category do you want this listed in and I always do patterns and how to and then it comes up like this okay so then I go ahead and click out of it and then the next thing I should see and how come I don't see it Prints, tutorials, kits, guides, how to's, books, mag. All right, maybe. All right, let me try the blueprint. Yeah, it's the blueprint. So I do patterns and blueprints. Okay, and then I go to sewing. Now, this is where you really have to look and uh, see because you can click on more than one. So they yeah. have it's for a special occasion. This is where you would click. What holiday? You would click here, but it's not. So, and you can either, you, there's two things you can do here. You can either have them automatically list your, uh, renew your listing every four months and they'll charge you 20 cents. Or you can do it manually. I do it manually because, you know, I might want to go in there and change something. Or I might want to go in there and change a price or whatever. So it depends. So I always do mine manually. Now, this is where it gets really important. You've got to put your description in. Now, for the patterns, I usually just type what's on the back. Like this section right here. That's what I usually put in. And, all right, so... I may not be that great at uh, typing. I'm sorry I just shook 
Let me see. Get your back over to the... All right, I've got a minute left on here. I'm going to have to do some more cleaning out. All right. So hurry up and do this. All right, so... Partially lined. Pull over bra. I'm not that good at typing people, so... <laughs> And top have elastic sized. And if you make a mistake, then, um, what is that strap? My eyes are not good either. I need to get my eyes checked. Uh, but if you make a mistake, then it's going to be highlighted with the red line under it. Variations. And it's kind of creased right here and it's hard to see. And casing. Period. Purchase. Bra. Inserts. Alright, so B, and I always do it this way. Built in bra. Leggings have elastic sized waist see I made a mistake waist waist band uh, I gotta get these eyes checked I thought it said process or something pockets well that added a whole two extra minutes um, so I went ahead and uh, did my description and I corrected all of my spelling. So the next thing, I'm just going to tell you what, what else I put in the description box. Uh, so the next thing I put in, I always put in for my, in my patterns, I always put in pattern is uncut and factory folded. And then underneath there, I click the enter button and then I go to the next line and I put um, copyright like this is 2015 so I do copyright 2015 then I uh, go down again you know click enter and then I put in pattern will be shipped in um, bubble wrapped envelope no bubble let me say that again pattern will be shipped in poly ziploc bag and bubbled envelope and that's all I put in the in the description box. So I've got a minute and 13 seconds left on here. So quickly, I'm going to go through the rest with you as quick as I can. All right. So let me bring this up. Right here is your category where uh, wherever you want to put your listing. So because this is a butterick, I'm going to put it over here on the butterick. Now tags, you can put in your tags. I'm going to do that later. Here's the price. So, oh, up here is... If you make something and you don't have to, but you can put in the materials like acrylic yarn or something like that, right here is where you put your price. So um, I usually start out my patterns at, uh, well, it depends. But like for a butterick that's uh, fairly new, I'm going to do $7. And then I go down here. I only have one, so I put quantity one. I don't ever do skew numbers, but you can if you want to. Variations, you can add variations like size and color and that type of thing. Personalization is information you want for the listing. And uh, like, um, let's say that you want to do... Oh, lighting's not good. Okay. Well, I can't get the lighting very good. And I'm tired. Um, I did finish that listing. But what I wanted to tell you after that... Uh, you can't hardly see me. But anyhow, what I wanted to tell you after that was... Um, below all of that information I was telling you about is going to be where you put your pricing, put your quantity. Uh, like I said, you don't have to do a SKU number if you don't want to. Then after that uh, is where you can decide on how you want to do your shipping. 
Now, they have calculated shipping, and they have where you, you can um, do a, like a fixed shipping quote. I always do the calculating shipping because I know at least that way I'm not losing money and uh, the package will be delivered without any problems. So that's what I do. And then you just click the publish button and you're done. So um, <laughs> I'm trying to hold this light up so it, it will at least give me a little better lighting and I'm holding the tablet with my other hand <laughs> so when I start uh, taking some more pictures which I'm hoping tomorrow is going to be a sunny day real sunny day because you need to take your pictures in natural lighting I also meant to tell you that um, so I'm hoping tomorrow is going to be a very sunny day I have a table I have set up with a white uh, piece of fabric on it and um, then I get my uh, tripod that's what I was trying to think of <laughs> so uh, then I set my tripod outside and I take my pictures so hopefully tomorrow will be a sunny day if so you may be getting another video showing you how I take my pictures and then when I um, get all done with the patterns and get those cleared out and put them in my file cabinet, that's how I store my patterns. I have an old file cabinet. Uh, I found it at a yard sale or something, and my husband painted it yellow for me. <laughs> and that's out in the garage. So that's how I store my patterns that I sell. Then when I get ready to do the things for my other shop, then I'll show you how I, I'll take pictures of that too. All right, well, I'm going to go. I'm going to let go of this light so it'll go back in its spot. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go now. And you have a good day or good night whenever you're watching this. Please subscribe, click the like channel, and leave comments and questions. Bye-bye for now.